Hey y'all, good morning. So today is Friday, February the 10th, and it is now 9.13 in the morning. I am all ready to go because today my sister, she's in the military, and she got promoted um, to being a sergeant. I think <laughs> I know it's a sergeant. I don't know if it's called first sergeant. I don't know. I know it's the sergeant. I want to say first sergeant. So today she got promoted and we're going to go see her at her ceremony, which the ceremony is in Richmond. So I'm all ready to go. I'm about to do perfume. My um, neighbor yesterday, she gave me. So she, one of her friends or something works at Macy's. So they be giving her, I guess they be having like free tester bottles. Of perfume so she be having like bottles of perfume and this time she didn't give me a sample because you know usually a sample come in like a package like this so this this is not a sample but it's not a full size and it as you can see is like it doesn't even look like the um correct bottle it will be in but this is the Donna born in Roma coral fantasy y'all this smells so good now this is my favorite one already. This is the Valentino. This is the, it's the same name, Born in Roma, because they have like three different ones. That's the same name, but it's just different variations of it. So this is just the, um, let me see if it said it. Uh, but I think, I think it's just called Born in Roma. It doesn't have no extra name to it. But the Coral Fantasy one, y'all, it smells so good. I was like, oh my goodness, like this might be my favorite one. So I'm definitely going to have to go get the full bottle. So I'm going to be wearing this today. Now, Grant, this is more like a springy type scent. But yeah. So yeah, I got this sweater from Target yesterday. Got little pleats on it on the shoulders and some pleats. It got like a, a siding. And then just some jeans and my boots. And then I also got these earrings from Target about over a year ago, y'all. I never, matter of fact, like two years ago. Because I got it when the twins was born. So two years ago. Never wore them. I said, oh, it's love month. And well, it's Black History Month. But Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was cute. How do I look? T stop right now. Tell me below. Do y'all like my earrings? At first, I was like, I'm not wearing these. <laughs> but I thought they looked so cute and they go with my outfit. So, I need to get a better setup. So, I can show y'all. <laughs> my outfits. Because this ain't it, Chief. So, I bought these jeans from Target. Now, these jeans I seen on TikTok. <laughs> y'all, everything on TikTok. It went viral because they fit so good and then i just paired it with some black boots rolled the bottoms up i paired it with black boots because you see the black in my earrings so i thought that would go because i don't even really have any shoes did my makeup this time i'm wearing bath and body works lip gloss but this is the so y'all know i like the clear one in the green bottle this is pretty much the same thing but this is has like a pink shimmer to it Mhm. Mm so yeah so I'm riding with my other sister. I don't have to drive, thank the Lord. My son going with me, my 12 year old. <sighs> so yeah, you guys. So listen, I can't show y'all too much of the background because my room is dirty. <laughs> y'all, I almost forgot. I'm so glad I remember that I got her a card. But I got her a card and it says, new job, new directions, new opportunity. So I got this card. I need to bring a pen so I can write it, y'all. Always gotta write it in the car. Write it before you walk into the event. <laughs> All right, so let me get this pasta salad. I put the pasta salad, ugh, I put it in a crock pot, y'all. Because my mom did buy me an aluminum container to put it in, like the aluminum pan. But she wasn't home for me to get it from her when I was by her house. So I was about to go buy one out of there going on um, Target, but they didn't have one. Y'all. Now I would have made it without you. I would have lost it all. My son just left me. He went outside in the car. He ain't help me with nothing. 
Oh, stink and tell son. I ain't mad at him. Usually my son, that's the one that helps me. He probably just was trying to get out there to see his auntie because she just pulled up. But usually my baby helped me. He's the one that he just, he, he makes sure he grabs my keys, my phone. So I ain't mad. But this is the pasta salad, y'all. Mm-hmm. Got some grape, to, got grape tomatoes, cucumber, shrimp, rotini. Yeah. So we gotta get some Starbies, y'all. Do you be watching TikTok, Tasha? Oh, they seen they what they was talking about this drink that Panera has. I think it's called like Charged Up or something, and it's like they say it got so much caffeine in it that it literally will have you feeling like you could be going hard all day Whoa, I said <laughs> alright I still would try it though <laughs> one time just to say mm -hmm. I did it yeah. girl if you don't whip this little car look sure. nah. <laughs> she worried she about to hit us up yes <laughs> that man standing right there too I can't do no hitting <laughs> <laughs> this hit is her. Panero y'all girl Starbucks is on the other yeah. side come on right there it's, girl just park this car she sure. walking it's right there, oh, Tasha. Oh. How to say? Lord, What'd you say, EJ? What? A peasant? Tie my shoes like on me. I don't feel like bending down. Tie real tight, please. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they got the good shot. <laughs> I can't. I don't know. I can't do it. Short places. I know. That's why they keep coming on tie. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. You said what? I love looking at. The Starbucks cups. There's, oh, look at this one, y'all. This one is so pretty. Oh my goodness. I like this one better. Because remember, y'all, in DC, I got this one right here. But I like that one. I'm going to have to get that one. And they got it in a mini. Oh my goodness. Some be wanting to act gangster so bad. Oh, act gangster so bad, but who just had to buy him a lamp because he's scared of sleeping in the dark? That's my past, bro. <laughs> your past. past? So that's your past. past. It was just two days ago. Oh, <laughs> All right, y'all. It's dark. It's like pitch black in there. <laughs> Here's my oh, sister, you guys. She not paying y'all no mind because she too busy. So I didn't know that the place that the ceremony was gonna be at is the Virginia War Museum. And it looked nice in here. But I'm just waiting for it to start right now at 11.48. I tried to get you to talk on camera, y'all. They can't see you facing this way, face this way. So this is my sister who the ceremony is for. Now what are you getting promoted to then? I keep Sergeant Major. Sergeant Major. <laughs> My no. sister don't ever want to be put on camera. I want to show you guys and see for myself. So let's see. Tell all who enjoy freedom of the deeds and sacrifices required for freedom to flourish. It says, I don't know if y'all can see it because it's far up, but in this shrine of memory are inscribed the names of Virginians who gave their lives in World War II and in Korea that liberty might live. And here are preserved mementos of the battlefields and battle seas hollowed by their blood. Oh, nice y'all. And they got, are these people names or, I don't think that these are. Yeah, don't get me in mind. I don't know what those are down there. But look at this. I'm facing the sun, so you might can't really see it good, but. It is huge. Wow. This looks really nice. Okay, y'all. I'm about to go back because the ceremony is about to start. Okay. 
Say hi. It's my nephew, y'all. Don't be trying to echo a shot. He trying to echo a shot now, but he be take a picture of me. Auntie, she take a picture every time. Yeah, park there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, y'all. Say hey, granddad. Granddaddy. Granddaddy. Wait, y'all gotta take this man along. <laughs> <laughs> Take a picture with all this mess on my face. Man. Hey, granddaddy. <laughs> <laughs> this is my Aunt Reese. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Thanks for attending today. Uh, kind of a special honor. It's not very often that a Master Sergeant gets promoted to Sergeant Major. Very, very few times. What I'd really like to say is. <clears throat> what this means to to the command right to everyone and i'd like to do that by just describing some of the the work and responsibility that master sergeant balson soon to be sergeant major balson has had but i've seen it in my experience as a as an officer right is one we'll say this isn't <laughs> this isn't you by any stretch of the imagination but one of the most miserable people in any army organization is a underranked ops, operations sergeant major, especially if it's a sergeant first class. And the reason for that is because the brigade isn't going to stop asking for things and demanding it of the operations sergeant major. And none of the first sergeants that they can turn around and tell them what to do are going to listen to them because they outrank all of them. Well, let me tell you that when we came, when I came, when Sergeant Major Irizarry came to the to our battalion, we didn't have Master Sergeant Paulson. We didn't have an Operation Sergeant Major in place, and instead, it was just a kind of interim uh, stand-in NCO that was doing the the duties of that position. Master Sergeant Balson arrived, everything in our organization changed for the better. Suddenly, the, what was required as far as his work, right? Suddenly there was somebody in the position who was making sure that that happened on a daily basis. And I, speaking from my, my personal experience, I know that it means a tremendous amount, not only to, to Sergeant Major and I, to the unit, but to the entire army. And so we are just so happy that that you're here. That we are so proud of your accomplishments. Mm -hmm. So proud to share in that, and very proud to be a member of your team. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, today is a special day, Danielle. This is your day. It's been the journey's been long, very long road. Uh, I know we met uh, a little over three years ago. Uh, and when you talk about a leader, the, someone that leads by example, we have Danielle here. Why she was competing, still as a first sergeant, competing at boards, and that's one way to lead by example. Um, I remember yeah, when we, we got in touch when she was at school at the academy, and when she said she was coming out here, I was, I was really happy, extremely happy, because I knew of the work ethic, the passion that Danielle has, and what, what she relays and what she gives to the soldiers, to her family, and her son. Because every time we talk about you, your mom's eyes just glow. I mean, it's, it's extremely nice, or very good to see that. So we're very proud of you. Uh, this is your day, finally. Finally get to see the star. And uh, we are very proud to have you. And we're extremely grateful and honored to be here on your day. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, y'all, I'm a crybaby. So. <laughs> First of all, congratulations. This is Bittersweet, which she pinned on Master Sergeant. and I was there, I was her first song. And this is and this really makes it better because April Beer came in. So these two right here are the reason that I have some sense to this day. And no sense at this well. Me and Danielle fuss like sisters all the time. Me and April fuss like so I love them both like to hear it back and i'm so proud of her because y'all might not know these names but i'm gonna throw them at you we got michelle jones we got Evelyn hollis those are two of the first african-american female sergeant majors in the army 
McKinney was the first African American female. It's Black History Month, and y'all don't know the sacrifice it takes to be a user. You lose your family, you lose your life, you lose your soul, you lose everything you got. And when you get to this point where people say you can't do it, she should stand up and be proud. I'm proud of you. And I know they didn't ask you because she'd be the last person, but I'm so, so proud of you. I've been watching you. You work hard. We work hard and you surrender. Don't get it mistaken. Like, we got to be doctors, lawyers, uh, any kind of doctor you want, any kind of paperwork you want. I don't care. We got to get it done. And it all starts here. That's right. If Operation Sergeant Major ain't kicking it, guess what? We got a problem. And then you got this attitude and this attitude. Lord have mercy. <laughs> <laughs> so you look at that like the future you should wreck, you know, like then I'm so proud of you and I'm so honored that I'll be able to retire and see you put that star on and I can do my homework, but I love you as a sister. I always love you and thank you and her for helping me organize my email. <laughs> <laughs> Pulse the orders. Attention to orders. The Secretary of the Army has invoked a special trust and confidence in the patriotism, valor, fidelity, and professional excellence of Master Sergeant Danielle L. Lawson. In view of these qualities and her demonstrated leadership potential and dedicated service to the United States Army, she is therefore promoted from Master Sergeant to Sergeant Major. Promotion is effective on 1 February. 2023 is the date of rank, 1 February 2023. Signed, Chief O'Malley, Department of the Army Promotions. <laughs> <laughs> At this time, Sergeant Major is already. We'll present the promotions. Go get your clothes off. I can't. Okay. 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 <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Sergeant Major Boston is not new to the NCO Corps, but in honor and in light of her promotion, her and Sergeant Major Irizarry are now going to sign the charge of the newly promoted non-commissioned officer. Memory. Option. You got on the stage because I was going to say something, but you got on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I got all the tears out, I hope, anyway. Um, I'm, I'm a very emotional person, but, but I'm a G at work. So yeah, it's in your family. <laughs> it's in your family, baby. Um, so first of all, I didn't write anything down because I just I wanted to wanted to, to come from the heart um, and be able to look at you all in your faces. Um, but at first, I want to thank God, right? Because without right. him, I would not be here today. Yeah. Um, He's definitely guided me and led me since I've been in the Army. I've um, been doing this for 18 years. Never thought that I would make it to see the rank of Sergeant Major. Um, so I am truly grateful and truly blessed to be able to, to see it. Um, just a little bit about myself. I joined the Army in 2004. And my dad was Navy, right? And he, and he, he was like, you, you should join the Army. Um, Navy and I'm like no I'm not joining the Navy I didn't even think I was gonna join the Army I went to college first I went to North State <laughs> University um, for nursing and I ended up deciding to go into the college first program where I didn't do well in school so I said hey you know what let me go see what the Army's about and that's when I decided to join but it has been a great journey um, I'm grateful for everybody who has supported me and helped me along the way that's um, right, baby. To my family, right, who supported me, especially when I became a single parent, right, because that's one of the toughest things as a woman 
an army to be a single parent, but they supported me 100%, and I truly thank you all for that. So you're going to cry again. <laughs> but I also want to thank the soldiers that served with me and the, how they helped me be able to understand myself, right. understand the things that I should and shouldn't do. Um, they helped to mold me who I am today to be able to be the leader that I am today. So I'm truly grateful for that. I'm grateful for my friends, Mia, Tanji, Nikki, Tanika. They came out here today to, to show love and support and some of them had to travel pretty far. So I definitely really appreciate that. Um, I appreciate my boyfriend. <laughs> um, he, he came into this late, but he said he's sticking around, so we'll see. <laughs> um, but I, I, I'm thankful for him and everything that he's done to support me since I've been on this journey with him. Um, but I just want to thank you all. Sir, Sergeant Major, you guys are awesome, right? Because when I came into the battalion, you pretty much it. Whatever it is that you got to do, we're here to support you. And you make it easy for me to be able to do this job on a day-to-day -day basis. When I came into the operations, I've never worked in operations. I went from being a recruiter to a station commander to a first sergeant. And then I came, I went to the Sergeant Major Academy and then I came and I was Operations Sergeant Major. Never did the job. My team, Sergeant Armitage, Sergeant Tolliver, Mass Sergeant Frisk, Mass Sergeant Heath, you guys are like the glue. Mr. Tatum, Mr. Jackson, like without y'all, I don't know where I would be when it comes to being an operations sergeant major, but you make the job a lot easier. And to the first sergeants who, even though I came in as a master sergeant, same rank as them, right? They showed me so much respect and I 100% appreciate that. Mm -hmm. And I'm thankful for you all just making my job a lot easier. Um, that's all I have. I really appreciate it. And I thank you all for coming to my promotion. My sister wanted to make a stop at this little... Um, I don't even know what this is called. But we're by William and Mary... And it's like a it's like a little town that have different stores. Ooh, you smell that? Mm -hmm. That smells. Like oh my goodness, that smells so good. Oh, for, oh look at these shoes, y'all. The shoe attic. Is the, aren't they so pretty? Oh, look at it. <laughs> it's different. Oh, look at that. Um, Who was wearing that small boat? I couldn't go to the doctor because. Tasha, let's go here. Are they open? I don't know. Um, Ten to five. Because I was. Oh, they open. Ten o'clock. Yeah. Oh, they open. Yeah. Oh, they open. Yeah. Hello. 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 Birthday queen. Wow. Do you sell this stuff online too, or just? I do. I have a website. If you would like a card, I can. Get yes, it please. It's not the best website because I do it all by myself. <laughs> That's okay. But it is functional, and everything is on there. The oh, I love your there. nails. Thank you. Oh, let me show my camera. Yes, I got them done They're yesterday. So Aren't they so yes. good? Yes. Oh, well, <laughs> Valentine's Day nails. Oh my goodness. Okay. Do you make this stuff yourself? I don't. I carry a bunch of different vendors and uh -huh. designers from all over. So oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay. I try to find, find fun and different. Yeah. Colorful. Wow. It's definitely that. It yeah, attracted me not, from the window. Yeah, I'm like... <laughs> Excuse me, Logic. Oh, Ooh, these are cute. They got shady things. Uh, I came, I saw Okay, we're to wear by every day. <laughs> oh, look, they got one for teachers. 
Oh, and they got an affirmations, creativity. <laughs> Even my anxiety got anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> it was so cute. Okay. I was about to say, you have a teacher that you would give the parents to? Ooh, I like this. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, I see that. <laughs> Not even this I love this shirt. The birthday green one? Yes. And I'm like, I'm so mad my birthday is in July. Oh, my God. Because <laughs> it's like, it is she so pretty. It. I think a t-shirt. Because she does sometimes do like a t-shirt version of something. Oh, okay, um, okay. I haven't seen it yet, but I'll keep my eyes out. Yes. It's called Queen of Sparkles, the company. Okay, Queen um, of Sparkles. She's pretty young. It just started in 2020. Oh. She's like blowing up. So. I can see why. It's so fun. Yes. Okay. Happy brand for sure. You have some very nice things in here. Look at the Grinch. Oh, <laughs> and that one over there. Okay. Ah! Y'all, I needed this for when I was doing my Christmas decorations. It says right here, I think, because it says fall in love with our new tees. Oh. Or it? Maybe oh, yeah. Okay, it's on the left. All right. Oh, she did say it was on the left. Whew. Hi. We're doing good. How you doing? Awesome. Mm -hmm. Have you ever done this before? No. No. I'll give you a quick lay of the land. Feel free to open any of the big glass jars for wooden lids to smell from. They're going to give you the best idea. Yeah. Flavor. These are the custom spice blends. Teas are all around the corner. And T bar is also open. And he's like, anything to go. Okay. Thank you. This one smells good, y'all. I like this one. Oh, they got a lemon garlic pepper seasoning. Let's see how this one smells. Garlic, habanero, pepper. Very So I got a tea from the tea bar, you guys. This is the creme brulee. I told her that I like something sweet. I like it. She said caffeine, so that was cool. And I got it iced. So yeah, now we about to go walk back to the car, I guess. <laughs> I'm glad we came out here. Yeah, because I didn't know all this was going on out here. Oh, look, they got imported fine. Look, I can't, I don't need to spend no, uh -uh. <laughs> Y'all, good morning. It is Saturday. I'm sitting in front of the gym. Me and my sister is actually gonna go to the gym together today. I've been sitting here waiting for her for like 30 minutes, <laughs> but she said she just pulled up, so we're gonna go in here, y'all. It is hella packed in here y'all i was in my sister car yesterday as y'all know and she has a sunroof and the lighting in there is amazing and now i'm just like i have to well in my car that i'm getting it does have a sunroof but now a sunroof is absolutely mandatory because baby listen the way my camera be you see it going dark light dark light dark girl anyway I do have my, I, I, well, I have my tripod and I'm, I don't know, y'all be a little nervous recording myself, but we gonna sing.
good workout. We are about to actually go get something to eat. I really shouldn't probably be going to get what I'm about to get being that I left the gym. But she, I don't see my sister often because she's stationed somewhere else. So when I can spend time with her, I do that. So it's all good. But um, I had a good workout, you guys. The only thing that we did not do was jump rope. I was supposed to do four rounds of one minute jump ropes, but the day I ain't gone, it was no jump rope to be found. The gym, well, let me tell you, the gym was gymming today. The gym was packed. So yeah, we, it wasn't like so packed to the point where we couldn't maneuver, but it was way more packed than what I'm used to. Because when I be going during the week, it don't be like that. Like people be at work. But today they was off of work getting it, okay? But anyway, I didn't even show y'all. Did I tell y'all that I finished it off with the Stairmaster? We did 30 minutes on the Stairmaster. I didn't record that though because um, um, Oh, because if I was recording on like if I was to record on my phone, I can't like play anything while you're while I'm recording. So I listen, the stairmaster, the stairmaster my dog. But in order to get through that, I need something in my ear. Whether I'm reading my book, I ain't have my book today, so I will listen to a podcast. So yeah. All you wanna do is gas me. that I had so two things the, the plate that I get it was supposed to come with shrimp and crab pasta when I first got the meal I didn't see the crab but I don't know if it's because so I'm gonna insert the picture of when I first took it like the first meal and then I'm gonna insert it with the second picture right so you'll be able to see the difference that well where was the crab at in the first one right so I didn't say anything because I was like, well, maybe the crab was just really fine and I wasn't able to see it because I didn't notice it until I thought I stirred it up that I was really didn't see the crab. I was like, maybe I just can't see it. So, um, but now that I got the second plate, I realized the difference. But the reason why I even got a second plate was because when I was eating my food, it was some um, plastic in it. It was like a black. I don't. It looked like something that might have like broke off of something. Maybe like a utensil or something. But yeah, it was a piece of plastic. So they remade my meal and they um, gave me half off, which was cool because the meal was thirty dollars already. So they gave me half off, and um, yeah. So a win win. A win is a win. Okay, a win is a win. I'm glad I didn't eat the I mean, I'm glad I didn't eat the plastic part though, but it was it was hard, so I wouldn't have ate it anyway. But um yeah, so it was a cool little vibe though. I've never been to that place. That was my first time. The reason why we went there was because um the first place we went to, they said it was an hour and a half wait, not doing that. And then the second place we went to, it said it was like a 30, 35 minute wait. So then I was like, well, we can do that. But then while I was there, I called this place we went to and they said they had no weight. And it was literally like no lie right across the street. So I was like, we could just go there. We've never been there. Let's just try it. And it was a vibe. They had, um, so when we went in there, they had it to where we could pay $45 and get the all you can eat buffet. Um, or you could just sit down at the bar and get like the regular menu. I guess they was having an all you can eat buffet for like Valentine's Day. And we, but the buffet was not provided, like it was not food that was provided from the actual restaurant. It was food that was provided from some other company. So the guy was like, he don't even, he can't even tell me like if the food good or not. So I was like, well, I don't want that. Okay. So 
we sat down at the bar and it was cool. I had two Cosmos. The dude, I asked him um, what drink that he recommended. He was like, I make a pretty good Cosmo. And I was like, well, go ahead and shoot for it. And it was good. So I got two of them. And then I got my meal. My sister had shrimp and grits. She said she liked hers, but the, sh the grits was not really like creamy. And you could look at it and tell like the grips was not creamy. It was more so like, it wasn't hard, but it wasn't creamy as I would expect it to be. So, but she said it was good still. So she didn't complain. But yeah, now I'm on my way home. I don't know, probably do some minor cleaning. Probably just lay down and take a shower. And see where the day take me. My boyfriend asked me that I want to go somewhere tonight. And I told him, yeah, but I don't know how I'm going to feel when tonight comes, y'all. Because, like, we really don't celebrate holidays. So I'm not really even pressed about Valentine's Day, honestly. <laughs> so guys later see you later alligator <laughs> that reminded me of my dad that was me and my dad saying when i was a, a child we were growing up he would be like see you later alligator and i would be like after a while crocodile <laughs> oh god dang i just looked to my right and this dude he taking a whole two liter uh two liter ginger ale bottle to the head while dropping <laughs> It's much later now. This is my second time recording this because the first time something was in my notes. <laughs> um, so we were gonna go out to a comedy show tonight at the Funny Room with my sister. However, when we tried to buy the tickets, the tickets were sold out, of course, Valentine's Day weekend. So my boyfriend was asking, is there anything else I wanted to do to celebrate Valentine's Day? And I don't. I wanna be in the house. So I told him all I want is some Cold Stone to get an adult beverage. I'm gonna cook hamburger and fry, homemade hamburger and fries for the kids. And I just wanna chill. Honestly, I don't feel like doing nothing. It's that time of the month. I just wanna be in the house. Also, can we all, as a congregation, I feel like I say that word wrong, but congregation say that food is too high. We just said, $115. We went in there for hamburgers and fries. Why we spend $115 then? Because I needed to get stuff for the during the week. And he want me to cook tomorrow. I haven't cooked breakfast in so long. I said that I was going to cook Sunday. I did. But now, as I'm feeling right now, I don't feel like cooking tomorrow. But he want me to cook tomorrow. And then not only that, he want pancakes. That means I got to actually, I can't, I can't just put those in the oven. I got to whip those and pour <laughs> but it's just breakfast food it shouldn't take too long i'm gonna go to the gym in the morning though and y'all now that i'm out here we got the groceries and he in the abc store y'all i don't even want ice cream now what is wrong with me i just want to curl up in bed and go to sleep that's all i want to do curl up in bed and go to sleep it's cold outside is that time of the month? I just want to curl up in bed and go to sleep. That's it. Maybe because I just had a long day. I did go exercise today and then, you know, when I do with my sister. So maybe that's why. Maybe I'm just tired. I'm not, you know, I'm old, y'all. I'm third. I'm about to be 30. <laughs> First of all, before I even go into this, I'm not pregnant. Okay, I told y'all I'm on that time of the month. But I don't know, like lately, you know, I have heard about people that when they're on that time of the month and stuff, like they get sick as far as like throwing up and bad headaches and stuff. But that has never been me. I have been like I always have had like bad cramps and it be all in my legs. But y'all lately. And I don't know why this keeps happening every time I'm vlogging, but I just do not feel good at all. Like, I feel nauseous. My stomach hurt. I got a banging headache. Like, y'all see me just, y'all saw me just cooking and I didn't even eat, eat nothing. 
because I don't want it. So I'm about to take some Pepto Bismol. I know you shouldn't take other people's medicine, but it's just ibuprofen, 800 milligram. They gave that to my son when he had to get his teeth pulled and he didn't like the taste of medicine. So really took it. So I only have one left. I'm about to take this. And I'm about to lay down, y'all. This is crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and close out this vlog here, you guys, because I have to um edit it and get it up for you guys tomorrow. So y'all know what time it is. Don't forget to subscribe. I love y'all so much. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.